If you're struggling with low FPS lag and stutters in Counter-Strike 2, this is the ultimate optimization guide for you. In this video, I'll walk you through the best settings to boost FPS, eliminate lag and reduce input delay, giving you a smoother, more responsive gaming experience on any low-end or mid-range PC. After applying these optimizations, let me know in the comments how much your FPS has improved. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and let's get started. Alright guys, go ahead and download the CS2 Ultimate Optimization Pack from my official website. You can scan it with any reliable antivirus tool or security website. It's completely clean and free from any harmful software. Once downloaded, extract the files to your desktop and open the main folder. Inside, you'll find multiple subfolders, each containing critical optimizations to enhance CS2's performance. Start by opening the registry folder. Inside, you'll find several registry tweaks designed to fine-tune Windows settings for better gameplay. Apply these optimizations one by one by double-clicking each file and confirming the changes. These modifications will help minimize input lag, enhance CPU performance, and improve overall system stability, leading to a smoother gaming experience. After applying all the registry tweaks, return to the main folder and access the Counter-Strike 2 Priority folder. This section contains registry files that adjust how your CPU prioritizes CS2. Setting the right priority level ensures your processor dedicates sufficient resources to the game, reducing stutters and boosting FPS. If you're on a low-end PC, install the normal priority file to maintain stability. Mid-range users should apply the medium priority setting for better responsiveness without sacrificing balance. High-end PC users should use the high priority file to maximize CPU power for smoother gameplay and fewer delays. These priority settings help fine-tune your processor's workload based on your system's specs, preventing unnecessary slowdowns. Next, locate and run the program called Run with Affinity from the extracted folder. This tool optimizes CPU usage, making sure CS2 utilizes all available processing power instead of running inefficiently. Many players aren't aware that their game may not be using all CPU threads properly, which can lead to frame drops and stuttering. This tool resolves that by ensuring CS2 runs on the ideal number of threads for optimal performance. To begin, click on Select Program and then browse for the game's executable file by clicking the three dots. Navigate to your Steam directory, then open Steam Apps, go to Common and locate the Counter-Strike 2 folder. Inside, head to Game, Bin, Win64 and find CS2.exe. Double-click it to select the file. Now, check the processor section where your CPU affinity settings are displayed. The program should automatically detect the correct number of CPU threads, but if it doesn't, you'll need to set it manually. For instance, if your processor has 16 threads, make sure all 16 are selected to maximize efficiency and maintain smooth performance. Once the thread count is configured, create a desktop shortcut to launch CS2 with these optimizations. You can rename the shortcut to anything you prefer and place it wherever it's convenient. After that, click Create Shortcut, then close the program. All right, everyone, it's time to optimize your system further using the MSI utility. Start by opening the application with Administrator Privileges. Right-click on it and select Run as Administrator to ensure it functions properly. Once the tool launches, you'll see a list of hardware components that support message signal interrupts, MSI. First, locate your network adapter in the list and set its priority to high to improve network performance and reduce latency. Next, find your graphics card and also set its priority to high to enhance rendering efficiency and overall graphical performance. After adjusting these settings, enable MSI mode by checking the boxes next to the selected devices. Finally, click Apply to save the changes. This tweak significantly optimizes system responsiveness, minimizes hardware latency, and ensures Counter-Strike runs more smoothly with fewer interruptions. Following these steps ensures that CS2 runs with peak efficiency, reducing stutters, and maximizing FPS. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. 
For example, I'll select Fortnite, click the Boost button, and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. In this step, we'll tweak essential window settings to boost system performance run. Counter-Strike with maximum performance. Start by opening the settings menu by clicking the Windows button and selecting settings from the list. Once inside, go to privacy and open the general section. Here, disable all options to stop Windows from gathering data for personalized ads, app tracking, and other background processes. Next, head to Diagnostics and Feedback and change Diagnostic Data to Basic to reduce the amount of data sent to Microsoft. Then turn off Improve Inking and Typing Recognition, Tailored Experiences, and Diagnostic Data Viewer to limit background data collection even further. Finally, under Delete Diagnostic Data, click Delete to erase any previously stored diagnostic information. Now, use the search bar to look for Allow Downloads from other PCs and open the corresponding option. Many users don't realize that Windows automatically enables peer-to-peer -peer update sharing, which allows other network devices to use your PC's bandwidth for faster updates. This can slow down your system, so disable this feature entirely to prevent unnecessary resource usage. Next, go to the System tab and open Notifications and Actions. Here, turn off any non-essential notifications to prevent them from running in the background. Then navigate to Focus Assist and make sure it's turned off. Move over to Tablet Mode and set When I Sign In to Use Desktop Mode. Under When This Device Automatically Switches Tablet Mode On or Off, choose Don't Ask Me and Don't Switch. Also, disable the two additional Tablet Mode options below. Now, head to Multitasking and turn off all Snap Assist features. Scroll down to Timeline and disable it. Under Virtual Desktops, unless you regularly use multiple desktops, set only the desktop I'm using for both options. Skip projecting to this PC, go to Shared Experiences, and disable all sharing options. Finally, under Remote Desktop, turn it off unless you actively need this feature. While still in System Settings, go to the About section and open Advanced System Settings. A new window will appear. Go to the Advanced tab and click Settings under the Performance section. By default, Windows prioritizes visual appearance over speed. But for better responsiveness, select Adjust for best performance. This will disable unnecessary animations and effects. However, to keep things visually smooth and readable, re-enable these four options under Custom. Enable Peak, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging, smooth edges of screen fonts, these settings strike a balance between speed and clarity. Click Apply, then OK to confirm your changes. Lastly, while still in the Advanced tab, adjust processor scheduling by setting it to prioritize programs instead of background services. This ensures that Windows focuses resources on your active tasks, such as gaming or content creation, rather than unnecessary background operations. For instance, if you're playing a demanding game like Counter-Strike, these optimizations will help allocate system power where it's needed most, improving gameplay responsiveness and reducing lag. Save the changes and your PC will now perform significantly better. Fine-tuning your PC's power settings is a simple yet effective way to maximize performance and boost FPS in Counter-Strike. Start by opening the Windows search bar, typing power and selecting choose a power plan. Once inside, switch your current plan to high performance or ultimate performance if available. This ensures your hardware prioritizes performance over energy efficiency, allowing your system to run at its full potential. Next, click Change Plan Settings and navigate to Change Advanced Power Settings for deeper customization. 
Expand the PCI Express section and disable Link State Power Management by setting it to off. This prevents unnecessary power saving features from limiting your system's responsiveness. Now head to Processor Power Management, expand the menu and set both Minimum Processor State and Maximum Processor State to 100%. This adjustment keeps your CPU running at peak performance at all times, eliminating potential slowdowns during intense gameplay moments. After applying these changes, click OK to save your settings. With these optimizations in place, your PC will deliver smoother gameplay, better responsiveness, and higher FPS in Counter-Strike, ensuring a competitive edge in every match. Now we will adjust in-game settings to get more FPS and smoother gameplay. First, open CS2 and navigate to video settings. Start with resolution. Keeping it at your native resolution offers the best mix of clarity and smooth performance. However, if your FPS is too low, try 12A and 80X 960 to boost frame rates. Lowering the resolution reduces the GPU load, but going too low might make spotting enemies harder. For aspect ratio, the default 16.9 is great, but many professional players prefer stretched settings to make enemies appear wider, making them easier targets. This can also provide a slight FPS increase. Refresh rate should always be set to your monitor's maximum, such as 120 Hz or 144 Hz, for a smoother experience and reduced input lag. Set display mode to full screen for the best performance. Running the game in full screen dedicates system resources solely to CS2, reducing stutters and increasing FPS by minimizing background interference. Now move to advanced video settings. Boost player contrast is optional. It enhances visibility in darker areas, but may slightly affect performance. If FPS is your priority, turning it off helps, but enabling it makes enemies easier to distinguish. Disable VSync to avoid input lag. While VSync prevents screen tearing, it introduces latency, which is a disadvantage in competitive gaming. Enable NVIDIA Reflex low latency with boost to reduce input delay and ensure your shots register instantly. This setting optimizes system responsiveness, which is crucial for fast-paced gameplay. Set multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode to none. Anti-aliasing smooths jagged edges but heavily impacts FPS. Disabling it guarantees the highest possible performance. Adjust global shadow quality to low since shadows are CPU intensive. High shadow settings look nice but consume unnecessary processing power. Turn off dynamic shadows to remove real-time shadows, which can significantly improve performance, especially on lower-end systems by reducing GPU workload. Keep model and texture detail at low to minimize VRM usage. Unless you have a high-end GPU, lowering texture details ensures your system doesn't allocate unnecessary resources. For texture filtering mode, choose bilinear. This offers a balance between clarity and performance. Higher settings slightly improve texture sharpness, but come at an FPS cost. Set shader detail to low to remove unnecessary graphical effects that burden the GPU, such as reflections and complex lighting calculations. Lower particle detail to low to reduce the load from effects like smoke and explosions, preventing FPS dips during combat. Turn off ambient occlusion, since it's a cosmetic feature that adds extra lighting depth but isn't worth the FPS drop. For high dynamic range, HDR, selecting performance maintains smooth gameplay while keeping lighting effects balanced. Lastly, if you're on a low-end PC, enable Fidelity FX Super Resolution, FSR, in performance mode to upscale resolution without a significant performance hit. If you have a mid-range or high-end setup, keep it off for sharper visuals. That wraps up this optimization guide for Counter-Strike 2. If these settings helped improve your FPS, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more performance tweaks. Peace out.